does it feel to be back in Australia, Your Grace? It's my home now. Were you surprised when the English stopped you landing in uh, Ireland? No, that's a foolish question. What do you say to reports from the London press that you're a notorious Sinn Féinach? I said it to them. I wish to go to Ireland merely to visit my dear mother, who was old and ailing. Now that, in my opinion, is not an occasion that would require the deployment of the British Navy. And how did you feel when the gunboat intercepted your liner and insisted on taking you off? Flattered. It was a manoeuvre in the tradition of Nelson. Actually, they treated me with the greatest courtesy. Now, gentlemen, I'm just a little weary after my voyage. I'll be making a detailed statement to the press in due course. About the English incident? Oh, no, no. About my visit with His Holiness at the Vatican. That was, after all, the main purpose of my journey. Did you find much support for the Sinn Féiners in America? You'll have to excuse me, gentlemen. Your Grace. Welcome back, Your Grace. Most kind of you to come. Now, Frank Laments is waiting in the car. We'll drive you home. Ah, oh, well, certain arrangements have already been made on my behalf. Well, I'll drive to your place and wait for you. I think it might be best if we met tonight, Mr. West. I have to put my house in order and so forth, you understand? Yes, of course. Till this evening, then. Yes. Yes, we have much to discuss. Uh, Your Grace, what does the Pope feel about the Irish situation? Uh, no more questions, gentlemen, please. Let's go, Frank.